All right, this is for Honors 11, Thursday, February 18th. Um, the previous day's assignment was to read Chapter 24 and just tell me about, you know, a potentially somebody Lizzie could have been talking about in that chapter. Uh, I'm not going to lie, these three chapters don't really have a heck of a lot in there to use, except for, you know, Chapter 24. There's probably five or six quotes that you could use to write a Jane Goodgirl body paragraph if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, you know, you could get that done and, 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 and move on with your life. Uh, there'll be some other things starting to happen, but the, there's, there's usually some chapters that there's kind of a transition between things. Um, so, that, like I said, these chapters are kind of slow in terms of, uh, you know, finding some good, good quotes to use for, for a body. Uh, in chapter 25, we meet the gardeners. So they are uh, Mrs. Bennett's brother and his wife. Uh, he's a successful um, warehouse owner that lives in London. And I know in these chapters there's a lot of uh, place names, and I'll go over them when we get back uh, because they're on, the, they're on the next quiz. Um, but we'll find that the gardeners are actually kind of surrogate parents. In all Jane Austen's books, at least the ones I've read and the ones I've heard about, uh, you know, the parents usually suck. Um, so there's usually some sort of set of surrogate parents, and that's what the gardeners are. And hopefully you saw that with Lizzie's conversation with Mrs. Gardner. Uh, but anyway, you know, Mrs. Bennett, you know, continues to whine and thinks that she's the one that's been ill-used when really she's the one that has screwed up two potential marriages. So by, you know, running her mouth about Mr. Bingley's money and, and assuming that he's going to propose, uh, you know, and of course we know that Mr. Darcy overheard that, that ruined Jane's chances and that's why the Bingleys and Mr. Darcy left. And then of course she could have easily probably pawned off Mary on, on Mr. Collins if she was smart, uh, but she wasn't. Uh, so she's the one that's responsible for all that. And I think that was part of Lizzie's, you know, one of the people that Lizzie could have been talking about, or maybe she doesn't want to talk about it because she doesn't want to believe it. But, but yeah, Mrs. Bennett is responsible. Okay. So again, I, I kind of gave you the heads up here that Jane was going to take a trip to London. So she's going to hang out with the gardeners for a while. And Liz seems to think that, you know, if Mr. Bingley sees Jane again, that he will, you know, ignore the advice of uh, Mr. Darcy and his sisters. Um, and we'll, you know, see about that uh, in the long run. Um, but, you know, they were just really, you know, doing what was best for him. Again, he's young, he's rich. We know that he's very impulsive. Um, so, uh, you know, they just didn't want him getting caught up in, in something bad. Okay. Uh, so, again, Mrs. Gardner is Lizzie's aunt. Uh, she just happened to spend some time in Derbyshire, and that's where uh, Mr. Wickham and Mr. Mr. Darcy are from. And she knows all about Wickham. So she doesn't tell Lizzie exactly uh, what she knows about him, but she said, you know, to be cautious uh, of him. Um, because even though they were having a conversation and Mr. Wickham was talking about, you know, Mr. Darcy, she just kind of, she's smart enough and savvy enough to kind of let him, you know, dig his own grave, so to speak. Uh, so she doesn't respond and just kind of shakes her head and agrees with him, uh, because she didn't want to call him out right then and there, uh, in front of Lizzie. Um, so continuing with, with that chapter, uh, moving on to chapter 26, uh, Charlotte, you know, invites Lizzie to visit and um, she just kind of tells her in her letters, you know, that she's pretty happy overall with Mr. Collins because, uh, again, you know, Charlotte just really wanted her own house to run and, you know, get away from her parents, get away from being a burden potentially to her brothers. So, you know, she's making the best of it. And, and when we go and visit them, we'll see how she handles Mr. Collins. Uh, she's pretty smart herself. Okay. So the last part of the chapter, you know, Jane, as always, makes excuses for Ms. Bingley's behavior. She waited, you know, about a month, I think it was, before she repaid that visit because that's something that, you know, women of their time were supposed to do. Jane visited her, so Ms. Bingley needed to come back and, and repay that visit, uh, but she does, and, you know, she's really, you know, short with her and, you know, just really is, you know, not a, not a good... Um, not a good visit overall, just kind of maybe putting the, the end to the whole Jane and, and, and Bingley thing. And that's kind of what, what Jane, you know, finally comes to that realization that it's, it's probably over uh, for her. 
So we'll see, you know, what happens in the long run there again. Okay. So then lastly, we find out that Wickham has kind of moved on uh, to a new girl. And, and we find out a few paragraphs later that, you know, she just happened to inherit 10,000 pounds. So again, think of that in terms of, you know, money back then. Mr. Mr. Darcy, you know, rakes in about 5,000 pounds a year. So obviously this is a huge chunk of change. So it also tells us a lot about Mr. Wickham, right? You know, that he really is just after money and we'll find out down the road why, why that is, okay? So, um, you know, again, hopefully as you were reading, you were maybe looking for some quotes uh, or, you know, a potential uh, next paragraph. But, but again, these are, these are kind of duds in terms of uh, good chapters to kind of formulate uh, what you want to do next. But, you know, l look at that, you know, that pink sheet, or I think I posted them online. Uh, you know, take a look at those and, and uh, see what you might do next. You know, is it going to be a different uh, theory? Uh, hopefully a different character. Um, but again, uh, once we get back to school, we'll, we'll try to sort some things out, but these are just some kind of some slow chapters and we'll get that every now and then. Okay. So your assignment for Friday is to read, you know, 27, 28. And, you know, if we're back at school, well, well, you know, we'll go over all that. I'll point out some good quotes and hopefully we can move on from there. All right. See y'all.